Hey y'all, what's up? Zach here, another YouTube video today. Today's video is going to be about an 11 year old boy in Florida who shoots a 14 year old. Um, now it says they were friends. Um, so I'm going to talk about this and then talk about how I feel about this afterwards. Now the charges he's facing is manslaughter. Um, he was arrested Wednesday. His, he was there with his brother. The brother is 13. The brother is not facing charges right now. Um, now it says the parents went out for the night. The boys were wrestling. When the boy got the pistol, he removed the magazine from the gun. Um, he left one bullet in the chamber though. And when he pointed at the boy, the gun discharged. Now, whether he intended to leave the bullet in the gun or in the chamber or not, who knows. Um, I don't know. He's the only one who knows. But, you know, he knew what he was doing when he pointed the gun at him. Whether there's a bullet in the chamber or not, you know, you're 11, so you know... You know, you know right from wrong, and you definitely know murder is killing someone, obviously. Um, so whether he knew there was a bullet in the chamber or not, that does not excuse the fact that he pointed the gun at him. He still pointed a gun at him, and I don't believe that it just discharged on its own. Um, has it happened? Yeah, I'm sure it's happened, but I don't think it's just discharged on its own. I'm sure he probably pulled the trigger. I mean, guns just don't discharge on their own. He probably pulled the trigger. Now, the boys initially said he threatened them with a knife and placed one, and then they placed a knife beside him. So that there goes to show that, you know, he pulled the trigger and then he tried to cover it up saying that he put a knife there. Um, they said that thing, they were getting less trouble. They then came back later and said that they put the knife there, and he didn't never threaten them with a knife, which is good. Uh, at least they came clean on that. Now, um, in Florida, it is illegal to have an unsecured firearm in reach of a child. Now, no charges are filed against the parents as of right now, but the captain of the police there said that could change. Uh, depending on how the investigation goes, that could change. They could face charges. You know, I'm not sure what kind of charges they would face. Um, I don't know if they would have a charge for having the gun in reach of him or child endangerment charges. You know, especially nowadays, you know, leaving an 11-year-old, a 13-year-old, and a 14-year-old alone. You know, when I was growing up, I was at home by myself at that age. But then again, this is a different time. Uh, and there was three of them, so if something was to happen, someone's break in their house. I can understand. Now, a gun fund me page has been set up for the child's death and for his funeral services. Now, uh, as far as I feel about this, you know, um, any case with a child, especially involving a death of another child, is always going to be hard. But, you know, at 11 years old, you know, you know the difference between right and wrong. And you, like I said, you definitely know the difference between murder and pointing a gun at someone. And, you know, like I said, even if he did take the magazine out, okay, and he thought there was no bullets in the chamber, okay. That does not excuse the fact that, you know, he, point, he still pointed the gun at the boy. And who knows why he did it. He might have got mad that he was losing in the wrestling match. Uh, had an argument with him. Who knows what the case is, you know. The fact is, he pointed a gun at him. And there was a bullet in the chamber. And like I said, pretty sure the gun just discharged by itself. He pulled the trigger. So he knew what he was doing when he pulled the trigger. He knows the difference between right and wrong. He knows murder's wrong. The boy is dead, you know. And people are going to argue, well, he's 11. Okay, 11, you know the difference between right and wrong. You know, at 6 and 7 years old, you know murder is wrong. And, you know, you can blame it on whatever you want. You can blame it on video games, TV, movies, or whatever you want. He still knows the difference between right and wrong at 11 years old. Now, um, as far as the parents being charged... 
you know, should the gun have been put up in a higher spot? Yeah, it should have been put up where he couldn't have got it. But, you know, you can put a gun anywhere and a child can get it. And at 11 years old, you know, if he really wants the gun, he's going to get the gun. You could put it in the ceiling. If they know it's in the ceiling, all they got to do is get a chair and a hammer, boom, they got the gun. You know, it's not hard to do that, especially at 11 years old. So, you know, as far as the parents being charged, you know, that's going to be a hard one to do. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you disagree with me or if you agree with me and why. And let me know if you think the parents should be charged. Uh, definitely prayers out to the boy's family and to the other people's family as, you know, the child had to witness that. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thank y'all for watching.